Fluffy! We are back with Fluffy! I'm so happy to react to Gabriel Iglesias again, man. It's been so long. So long. Almost a crime how long it's been. Almost such a crime that I almost feel like I need to do research again, but I'm not going to bore y'all with that. I'm going to do that on my own time. Y'all know we only save research for my genuine first time reaction. So we know Gabriel. We know Fluffy. We love him. I'll, I'll do my catch up research uh, on my own, but it's just so good to react to him again. I miss him so freaking much, man. Um, definitely a staple on the channel. Definitely somebody who... Uh, Brought me great joy uh, on this channel. This is making cops laugh and Krispy Kreme donuts. Now, uh, probably my favorite aspect of Gabriel Iglesias outside of his... He, he's just one of those naturally funny people. Like, just in conversation, I could tell he would be funny. But his storytelling is probably, probably my favorite. It, it's almost Kevin Hart-ish. Like him and Kevin Hart, you know, early Kevin Kevin Hart, not now, but early Kevin Hart. Um, you know, a lot of early Kevin Hart was driven off of his storytelling, his ability to tell a story, paint a picture, and almost push put you there, um, and, and kind of visually lay everything out to where you can vividly see what he's saying. Uh, I feel the same way about Gabriel Iglesias. So really excited to see how he tells us this story. I almost a million percent sure is going to be hilarious so let's not waste any more time let's go somebody asked me they say well in your first special that you got to do you kept talking about this guy this friend of yours named felipe is he a real person he is a real person and he he's an old friend known him forever but he's one of these comedians who doesn't know when to stop being funny. And that's why sometimes it's hard to hang out with the guy. Because, you know, I know when to quit. Especially around cops. When I hear, the joke is over. <laughs> if I hear, you get an apology. My friend didn't know when to draw the line, you know. And we're hanging out one day. And sure enough, freaking cop got mad. Oh, you think it's real funny, huh? You think, it, you think it's easy to be a police officer? You see that scar? I got stabbed in 92. See that? Bullet won 96. What do you got to say about that? And I was like, I have nothing to say about that. My friend Philippe is like, oh yeah? What are you doing? Fool, watch this. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he grabs my shirt, pulls it up, tells the cop, fool, you see those stretch marks? <laughs> Donuts, 1996. <laughs> 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 Yo, before we keep going, that's really good. That's great. <laughs> that's good. that's good. that's good. I like that. But can I just say that um I feel like a lot of my friends will say I'm that guy. Like I never know when to stop. But I, I do. I'm not a complete idiot. Y'all know I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Um but I actually do have a friend that I think he he embodies everything that Gabriel it, again to my earlier point, to the point I made before we started, Gabriel's ability to really paint a picture like we all have a friend like that. You know what I mean? So the fact that he he put emphasis on it, it kind of highlighted like he really immerses you into his stories. I love that. Kill us! I know, fool, but it was funny, huh? <laughs> and speaking of that, I get pulled over by a cop one night, two minutes after coming out of a Krispy Kreme drive-thru. All right, don't get ahead of me. Watch, I made a left turn instead of making a right, but I wasn't paying attention because I had a box. I was like, oh, you're going to get it when you get home. <laughs> oh, you've been so bad. So, ah, you're going to get it. I'm not paying attention. I go the wrong way, right? Sure enough. I pull over. Later. I'm sitting there patiently waiting and the cop is taking forever I said the hell with this he's taking too long I grabbed my box I put it on my lap I flipped it open right um oh I was 
was gonna get nasty. And just as I was about to tear it up, the cop gets to the window and says the same thing that they all say, right? You know why I stopped you? It was too easy. I looked at him and I said, cause you can smell it. <laughs> Oh, he was dying, man. <laughs> hey, that's actually. <laughs> and <laughs> hey, that's funny. Hey, nah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> It's the face he made. That's funny. Oh, he was dying, man. He said, Son of a bitch! <laughs> Whatever, he let me go, man. <laughs> so I'm saying, you just gotta be careful. If you can make a cop laugh, you got a chance. Uh, unfortunately, my luck is not that great. I, I, I don't think I've ever had a pleasant encounter with a cop ever. In my life, I've actually had cops draw guns on me. Uh, twice, actually. Both I was underage, mind you. Both times I was uh, under the age of 18. Long story. But um, but Gabriel is, is hilarious. I don't remember his... Like, I don't remember sound effects that much with Gabriel. But this was like... Him, like, with the sound effects is like... Again, that was like great. Like I, I, I don't ever really remember Gabriel. And again, it's been so long. I feel like has it been four or five years since I reacted to Fluffy? It's been a long time since we reacted to Fluffy. Long time. Um, I just I don't remember. Again, I remember storytelling, right? But I don't remember sound effects. But that was great, man. That was great. I mean, the sexual innuendos, the sound effects, um, the facial expressions. Just, he's just a great... Is he still active? I don't hear about him anymore. Let me look that up real quick. Gabriel Iglesias. Um, like, it, And when I say recent, I'll say within the past... Since COVID. Like, has he done anything? I can't tell you the last time I've seen or heard anything from him. He was in space. Oh, his voice was in Space Jam. The LeBron sequel. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that. In 2018, he was one of the top 10 paid comedians in the world. Hey, it says he's still active. Um, what's the last thing he did? In 2022, he was the first comedian to sell out Dodger Stadium. Oh, for a Netflix special. Oh, I gotta watch that. I didn't. Holy shit! Oh, that definitely answers my question. He's very much still active, selling out stadiums, baseball stadiums. Um, very impressive, man. Love Fluffy, man. Love him again. This was a great story. Um, just a fun sense of humor. That that that's honestly what I love most about Gabriel Iglesias. It's not kid friendly, but it's lighthearted. Where it's like I wouldn't my, like I wouldn't let my child listen to Kevin Hart. Right, I, I, not Kevin Hart. Uh, Cat Williams. I wouldn't let my child listen to Eddie Murphy. Right, but uh, Fluffy, it's it's not, you know, kid. It, it, again, it's some cursing. Again, sexual innuendos, whatever. But it's so light that it's like it's not. Like, you wouldn't cringe if your child heard one of these jokes. Again, it's like, you know, you wouldn't want them to hear it. But it's not terrible. Like, it's not so raunchy and raw that it's like you, you, you would cringe if your child heard any of this. You know what I mean? Like, it's just fun. It's just a fun guy. 
Love Fluffy, man. Love him. Felt so good to hear him again, man. And I, y'all know I'm always down to do some comedy, and especially Fluffy. So if there's anything else from Gabriel Iglesias that I need to check out, y'all just let me know. But I was so excited to see this request, I kind of just jumped right into it. But y'all let me know what else from Gabriel Iglesias I need to check out. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with Gabriel Iglesias. Peace.